All right, what is up, everybody? This is Daniel Barrett from AdwardsNerds.com, going live. It is Thursday morning as I'm recording this, whenever you're watching this. Hope you are doing well. Voice is a little low, a little raspy, starting to feel a little sick. And I was just talking to somebody, I was like terrified of getting sick because I got a bunch of stuff I got to do this weekend. So I like drank apple cider vinegar and I blended two cloves of garlic in some water and I drank that and I took turmeric and I drank an airborne and I took vitamin C and all that stuff. So that got me to thinking, okay? Now, look, I'm not a particularly like a holistic thinking uh, type of person when I think about medicine and all this stuff, but I believe in the power of the placebo. And I think that doing something, right, about the feeling that I'm getting sick, whether it's drinking the garlic or drinking the apple cider vinegar or all this stuff, which by the way, if you do them together, makes you want to heave, <laughs> heave ho. So I don't recommend it. But I knew that doing something was better than doing nothing. If I'm doing nothing, I'm gonna sit there worrying about, am I getting sick? Is that me being sick? Is it just you know dry? Do I have post-nasal drip? Whatever, I'm gonna worry about it. And if anything, the worrying about it is gonna make me sicker than whatever might be actually making me sick. Now, if I do something about it, even if doing those things, maybe those things don't really do anything. Maybe they do a little bit, but they don't really help. I don't know. But the act of doing something is going to take me a lot further in my quest to feel better and beat off this potential cold. All right. So the thing to keep in mind and the way this applies over to your investing business and your marketing is that there's so much information out there, so much stuff, right? I put out so much stuff. I do videos pretty much every day. I've got an entire group, the REI Marketing Nerds Facebook group. If you're not in there, you should go get in there. I've got a mailing list with like 10,000 people on it. We mail pretty much uh, several times a week. I've got a blog. I've got a YouTube channel. I've got all these things. There's so much information just that I'm putting out. We're not even getting into other people are putting out about how to find motivated seller leads online, how to grow uh, the effectiveness of your website so you rank more aggressively in Google right? How to use technological follow-up tools, automated sequences in order to get more of those leads to become appointments. These are all things that we talk about every day. So there's so much information out there. Information is not the problem. And it's easy when you have so many sources of information and so many things that you're supposed to do and so many things that you think you got to do. It's very easy to just not do anything. You go into overwhelm mode, right? It, it's too much. This is a lot of times people refer to this as the paradox of choice. If I go to a restaurant and there's a, there's a menu and it's got a thousand things on it, it's like, oh, God, I got to read all these things. And you just kind of end up not picking anything. So this is what happened to me this morning. I go online and I Google, <laughs> how do you prevent a cold from happening? And I get like this list of 8 million things, all of which are pretty unpleasant. So how did I choose what to do? I just picked the top five. You know, I didn't have some of, I didn't have ginger on me, so I didn't do that, right? I just picked the top five. I just did them all. I'm like, look, if these don't work, I mean, I don't know, who knows? They're kind of like crunchy things, right? But I don't know if they don't work, they're probably not going to hurt me. And maybe they'll help me. And the act of doing something, even if this individual act doesn't really move me all the way to where I want to be, the act of doing something is a lot more powerful than just sitting and thinking about it. And so for you as an investor, if you're looking out at this online marketing landscape, which is complicated, you got AdWords and Facebook and Google Display Network and YouTube and Bing ads and SEO and what kind of SEO and do you do links and where do you build links and how no follow links versus follow links and on and on and on and on and on. It's very easy to just go into that freeze up mode and not do anything. But I'm telling you, no matter what you do, just pick a thing and do something. Could be getting on the phone with someone like us, going to AdWordsNerds.com, requesting a strategy session, talking it through. That's a thing, but you don't need to do that. You could just spend a day, 
updating your homepage, trying to put more keywords in it. You could spend a day trying to set up a Facebook ad, get something, just run it to your entire zip code, don't use any targeting, see how it does. The act of making a decision and moving and doing something is going to start to build momentum. It's going to put you on the path to where you want to be. And it's much more powerful than taking all your time and all your energy trying to find the perfect thing. Because the perfect thing doesn't exist. Did all the stuff that I drank this morning make me want to throw up? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Still kind of a little bit. But it made my kids laugh, which is pretty funny. And two, hey, I did something. And I know that's a lot better than just sitting there and worrying about whether I'm getting sick or not. Hope that makes sense. Hope that's helpful. Go out. Doesn't matter. Take something today. I don't care what it is. Do something small. Get something done to get yourself more motivated seller leads and appointments and deals. This is Daniel Barrett from AdwordsNerds.com signing off. I will talk to you soon. Cheers, everybody. Bye.